keeps up with the trials of Apollo and the good old Rick Riordan storytelling magic. Well, hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today, I have this awesome book to review to you guys. The Storm Runner novel, book two of this trilogy, The Firekeeper by J.C. Servant, Rick Riordan present, and let's get right on to it. This, my sire, is one of the most beautiful books ever lived. And, well, the main character of this beautiful book is Zane Opiso, and he is the narrator of book one, The Storm Runner, which I have to have done a review for, and search it up on my channel and watch it if you want. And this is book two of the series, and it continues the exciting weave of storytelling that the Storm Runner continued. And so, the Firekeeper. You see, Zeno Piso, he finds out that the magical paradise tropical island that that's supposed to pre protect him from the wrath of the gods? Well, apparently it just managed to be his prison, and he can't even get out of the magical island that was supposed to hide him from the sight of the gods. Meanwhile, he finds out that there are other godlings revealed by the Stormrunner book. The book made by Magical Truth Inc. The book that was used that held a message to any other godlings on the earth who read it, the only godlings would be able to read the Storm Runner, and well, that's what the whole little story of the book is. And apparently, Zeno Pistol wrote the Storm Runner, but we all know that's a good way for the author to talk to the reader and so on, and it does make the story more realistic. Now, if we go on into the Fire Keeper, Zeno Pistol finds out, as I have mentioned, other godlings exist, found out with the book that can be only read by by the godlings, which means I'm a godling, which doesn't make any sense at all. And and that revealed that they were godlings and they have been kidnapped by a sinister force. Meanwhile, Huracan, his father, is trapped in prison, in a tiny weaveling prison. And soon Huracan will be executed. And when he does, a sinister plan will be set into motion. Zeno Piso, Brooks, Hondo, and the good old gang is back at it again. They must do the impossible quest. In three days, they must rescue the godlings and rescue Huracan, or the world will burn and the might gods will fall. Could they do it? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you a couple things. First of all, old puke face is coming again. And he isn't the main villain this time, as it was in the first book. He's more of a friend, an ally, and a trusty one too. And a kind of very, very, very powerful one too. And also, I'm going to warn you, there is a dude who's pretending to be Batman from the Dark Knight. And he prances around, he's, he's a... He's a bad god, and he's quoting Dark Knight over the book. It's kind of annoying, it's very evil. Watch out for him. And it's a great book. It's a must read. It keeps up with the ages of the Trials of Apollo and the Magnus Chase series, although it can't compete with the Percy Jackson or the Shores of Olympus series, but still, it keeps up with the Rick Riordan's old magic. And I think J.C. Servant is a great author great enough to to match Rick Riordan's might. And this was a truly enlightening book. The mix of Maya mythology and Inca mythology, or Mexica. But that's what the Inca is actually called. But you'll find out if you read the book. Must read. And it really does catch up with Rick Riordan. And like always, your book quester and the book. A great thrilling ride, and 
I couldn't let go of it. 